just a disclaimer, take every single measurement that I give you with a grain of salt. Hey everyone, it's Greg with Spotted Tongue Woodworking. Uh, this is going to be a short video and in this video I'm going to upgrade the impeller on my Harbor Freight dust collector. Uh, this is a quick and easy upgrade. I, you know, they say, you know, bigger impeller, you know, bigger impeller, more airflow. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to replace it with a Wen impeller. It's a bigger impeller. And along with that, I have a new flange fitting from ROM or ROM, ROM, ROM furniture. Uh, they 3D print the flange, cut out the metal. So that's all made up. And then that is a six inch port instead of a five inch port. And then a, a six inch Y fitting that will instead go here. So as far as I know, I just need my impact and a little puller and let's get started. So one thing I wanted to be able to do was to quantify the improvements that upgrading the impeller does. So I have a little uh, speed measure and an 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 anemometer or however you say that. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to measure the airflow of the standard. Um, take it with a grain of salt. The you know bag is half full. The filter is dirty. But that's the that's how most people would use it. So we're going to test it out, kind of in real conditions, and we'll go from there. <laughs> So on the with the stock dust with the stock impeller, the stock port, I'm about 24 meters per second for the airspeed. So let's swap everything out and then we'll test it again and see how much of an improvement there is. All right, five millimeter Allen key. It's tightening. So we'll just... So there is that. Probably want to be able to hold on to, want to keep, you want to keep that wedge. And you can already see the size difference in the impellers. That this is significantly bigger than this impeller, but you can also see that it has, it's the scoop is going the opposite way. What they say is this reverse scoop doesn't have the same peak power that this scoop does, but holds its power, holds the CFM under load because of the way that it pushes the air instead of scooping the air. That this is a higher peak, but doesn't maintain the peak. So we'll get this, get this guy in. Maybe we can't forget our little uh, wedge there. That's gonna be kind of important. like that. So now putting this back in the new flange on is that there is a seal on here. We're going to reuse that seal. Keep a nice tight, have a nice tight fit. And then, we're done. 
thing is that, and it's the, you can read the reviews on Amazon with this PowerTech fitting, is it is a very, uh, the quality control on the PowerTech fitting is very hit or miss. I had a lot of people say it's too big or too small or not quite right. So I was in contact with ROM Furniture. They said the exact same thing. The PowerTech is the one, is the issue that it's the one fitting they recommend because even though there's a lot of variance, the tolerance is enough that you know it's going to fit. We're going to put a little bit of tape around the inside, snug it up, and see how that, and see how that works. Just hold this nice and tight there. Take our chain. We'll reuse the cap, hopefully. And then we'll get our CFM, we'll get our CFM reading. Oh yeah, it's a nice fit. I like it. Okay, so we've replaced the impeller. We've added a larger, we have a six inch port now instead of a five inch port. So a larger impeller, it's pulling more air through a larger opening, which means there should be a higher airspeed. When we measured this, I believe I said 24 meters per second was about where we were at. So we will get this going again. Uh, let me turn this back to, hold it, meters per second, okay. So let me turn it on and let's see what's going on. So what I'm realizing is this small anemometer, just changing the angle slightly, does greatly change the uh, the airspeed. But holding it directly as I put it with the other one is that it is it's higher. It's significantly higher. Um, so that that's impressive. Um, well, I can't wait get to get this you know take this apart again, put it, get this all sealed up because I know I'm leaking air through here. So get this sealed up, stop leaking air around the inside here, and then also turn it into a two-stage with a dust collector and a cyclone, and then we can actually just end up venting this air outside, which would be incredible, because then you don't have to push against the air filter, the air fil you don't have to worry about cleaning air filters out, and it's not gonna be enough of a large enough volume of air that it's gonna impact the, the heating, or there's no air conditioning, it's not gonna impact the heating greatly, because it's not like this is going to be running for long, long periods of time. So this is, this is a good start.